Uh, hello, welcome back to another math video. We're going to look at area of triangles, just some examples on it. If you haven't watched the area of triangles video, go back and watch it. Uh, we've got two rules for area of triangles. Our right angled rule says A is a half base times height. So it's not B as in the side length B, it's B for base. And our second rule says that A is a half AB sine C. That's our new rule. Um, for non right angled triangles, a bit more um, interesting, a bit more usable in some real world uh, examples, obviously. So, examples. Let's start off nice and easy. I will just, actually, before we get into it, this rule here will come back secretly, sneak its way in. So, just because you got this new fancy rule that works, it's really diverse, um, don't negate this one, don't forget this one. So, when you see right angles, half BH, think about it. See if it is relevant for you. Kicking off example number uno, example number one. So let's say I've got an angle of 100 degrees here. Let's say I've got side lengths of three and side lengths of five. Um, I'm asked to find the area. So going for area, triangle, area of a triangle formula. It's one of these two. It's non right angled, non right angled, area of a triangle. This is the one I'm after. Okay. So I've got A for area. Note that's area. That's not A as in the angle A. Area is a half A, B, sine C. So in terms of labeling, my angle is C, so that's going to be C. So A and B, not super important. A and B, A there, B there. Substituting in, A is a half by A is 3, by 5, by sine 100. Okay, putting that straight into the calculator. Just going to put mine in, times sine 100. That gets me 7.38 units squared. Okay, and that is 2dp is actually incorrect, it's actually 7.39, so that's wrong, sorry marker, 7.39 units squared, 2dp. Don't forget to round properly, don't be lazy like I just was. Uh, so anytime you have two sides of the angle between area formula, just stick it straight in, okay? Um, so here, side, side, angle. Okay. I would certainly encourage you guys to be a little bit quick about it. So it literally is, I mean, it's three minutes into the video, I've already done one example. Like, if you've got your sides, 4, 8, and 60, and you're trying to find the area, just go straight to your working here. A is a half times 4 times 8 times sine 60. Okay, half A, B, sine C. Multiply the sides, sine of the angle between them. Um, now, you're probably going to get more practice and familiarity remembering your sine rule and your cosine rule, um, but this one here, it's a, a little firecracker of a rule. It's good. 13.86. Uh, I have rounded that. You calculate, I'll say 0.856, um, but it's 86 by the time you round. Uh, so it's unit squared. It's 2dp. Units. Thanks, English. Um, slightly more complicated. You might, you might not always be given exactly what you do need. So taking an example like this. So say you've got sides uh, 6, 7, and Eight, and you're asked to find the area, um, you're looking at this and you're saying, well, hang on a second, this is non-right angled, my area formula says half AB sine C. In an exam, you'd probably get asked to find one of the angles first, they'd probably say, find, you know, whatever angle and go for it. Um, if you're not, you need to find an angle first. So you've got two sides, A and B, I mean, you've got three sides, take your pick. Uh, and then an angle between, take a pick at what angle you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to go through this, I'm going to work it. 
Uh, so this is going to be my C here. So A and B. This will make C here. Uh, this will make A. And this will make B. So finding an angle. Um, this angle here, theta. I'm connecting at this point one, two, three sides at an angle. Three sides at an angle. Alarm bell should be ringing for you. Ding dong. Church is in. It's going to be a cosine rule question. Okay, so cosine rule, we're going to say cos c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared on 2ab. Okay, I've also deliberately chosen the c so it's theta here. So it's not just coincidence, you need to relabel your work, go through and relabel your work, make sure your unknown is c. So cos theta equals a squared is 7 squared b squared is 6 squared minus 8 squared on 2 times 7 times 6. Okay, just going to calculate it out. Um, fraction 7 squared plus 6 squared minus 8 squared on 2 times 7 times 6. 1 on 4. And that's kind of convenient. It's like because they are is 1 on 4, uh, and then shift causing both sides, theta, shift cause, answer, 75 degrees, and 31 minutes. Okay, I'm not going to round at this point, um, because you should not round mid-question. If you're rounding mid-question, you're going to get your answer probably wrong. I would certainly encourage using the ANS button on the calculator. If you're not familiar with it, it will just give you your last answer. So if you press ANS now, it will tell you what the answer was. Again, so I press ANS and press ENTER. Oh, look, it's the same thing. 75.522. Anyway, that now tells me that angle here is 75 degrees. 20, 31 minutes, sorry, and 20.96 there. So I've now got myself in a situation where I've got a side, I've got a side, I've got the angle between, two sides of the angle between, I'm good to go for my area formula. A is half by um, 7 by 6, 6 by 7, by sine that angle, so 75 degrees, 31 minutes, 20.96 seconds. Okay, so again, our area formula multiply the two sides by sine the angle between. Half A, B, sine C, A, B, sine C. Half A, B, sine C, our good friend. Make sure you sign, don't shift sign the answer there. Put it into your calculator. Um, so half times six times seven times sine of that angle. I got 20.33. Hope I'm right. If I'm not right, let me know. Uh, 20.33. 3 and it's units squared. It's a bit more work on that one there. You had to go through, find um, the angle first, but um, it's entirely possible you get that. You get that all throughout this unit, both with your sine rule questions, your cosine rule questions. You might have seen it already, having to work one thing out to work something else out. Um, very common. Um, do some more examples yourself. Get familiar, get comfortable. Um, it is a nice little rule. Um, I'm going to leave you to it. Thanks for watching.